Kahalala na okazaki al brasham ka brakasho ka bashema shaka washa bashema kakadash. Peace and blessings to all the beloved brothers baptizing this New Testament for the remission of sins. And uh, shalom to all the ministers of the New Covenant, man. So today I'm going to be going into a few verses on um, Israelites um, coming against their Lord and Savior, man. Trying. Basically, to, to destroy the Lord, man. You know, I'm gonna read a couple of scriptures, which uh, when the Lord Yahweh Shah, when he came on on the scene in the earth, even uh, our people, bro, you know, they was trying to kill him, man. So how much more his beloved ones, man, that are in him now, bro? How much more his beloved ones are in him now, man? All right, the scriptures tell you, man, we're at war, baby. All right, the dragon is coming in to make war with them. I keep the commandments and have the faith of the Lord Yahweh Shai, man. So it is what it is. And what the dragon is going to use who? People. Okay, he's going to use people, man. That's what the devil do. He uses people as puppets, all right? People will be possessed by him and do his will, which is to kill, steal, and destroy, man. All right? And that's the spirit on a lot of our people to have the spirit of killing, and stealing, and destroying, which a lot of these guys, man, they got to get blotted out, man. A lot of uh, men and women of, of our people, of who you, the so-called Israelites, or, or so-called Negroes and Native Americans and Latinos, man, and the scattered tribes, right? The Israelites, man. Mainly uh, the, Nick, the Negro tribes, man, because... The Negro tribes and the slimes and the ghettos, bro, they have Satan on them beyond measure, man. They have Satan on them beyond measure, man. You know, a lot of the other, you know, Latino tribes, they get it in too, but they're a lot more peaceful than Jake, Jake and the slimes, man. Jake and the slimes, the hatred that's on these guys, bro, because uh, this is what it is, man. You know, the new covenant is available to the sheep, right? The new covenant is available to the sheep, but as the new covenant is available, the forgiveness of sin, you also have the old covenant, the curses, which is still lingering, and um, people are still inheriting those curses and uh, magnifying those curses and basically uh, promoting those curses, man. You're even promoting the heritage of, of those curses, man, and that's what's going on with our people. They're promoting the heritage of curses, man. Which the scriptures tell you is done away in Christ, man. Like when the scriptures speak about the law being done away with, it's talking about you being cursed, right? We don't have to be cursed when we can be blessed through the blood of the new covenant, man. According to the grace of the Lord Yahweh Shah. But man, I'm gonna just read some verses, man. Because uh, our people, they evil as hell, man. They have to be destroyed. The scriptures speak about the children of hell being a twofold child of hell than yourself a child of hell is not a child of the of the kingdom man or they're not children of the kingdom you can't be the children of the kingdom and be ch the children of hell man you gotta pick a side man all right so let's get it this is john and the scripture says no murderer have eternal life abiding in him you think these people going to try to put the lord to death and the scripture says let our blood be upon us and our and our children you think that, man? The scripture says when you, you do despite to the spirit of grace and done trotting underfoot the son of God, and you think you're going to get the kingdom? No, man. Hell no, man. All right, what did the Lord say? Uh, who uh, Whoever delivered me to thee have a greater sin. Talking about Judas, wicked ass, man. All right, but, man, uh, you know, you can't try to kill the creator and think you're going to get life, bro. It just don't make sense, man. And then you're trying to kill his disciples, bro. Destroying the disciples with no repentance involved and never entering into the new covenant and see your sins being washed away. Nah, man. This is John 8 and 59. Then took they up stones to cast at him. So these are the scribes and Pharisees casting stones at the Lord Yahweh Shah, the beloved one, the top minister of the new covenant. So if they go cast stones at him and nitpick at him and demonize him, how much more the young beloved ones, right, that are in him? <laughs> They're going to what? Cast up stones at him, man. 
try to what uh, assassinate your character, demonize you, and uh, make you look like you're a demon, man. That's what they try to do. Make you look like you're demonic when the whole time they're demonic, which what it is, is that narcissistic demon that's on a lot of these people out here, man. It's on men and women, bro. All right, this manipulative spirit, man, this devil that been cast out from heaven, man, the prince of the air, man. All right, so it says John 8 and 59, then took they up stones to cast at him. But it says Jesus, I'm reading verbatim, hid himself and went out of the temple. All right, he went out of the temple. He hid himself. So sometimes you got to hide. Do that mean you're a punk or you're a, you're a sucker, you're a chicken because you hid from danger? No, nah, man. You got to do what you got to do to protect yourself from danger. The Lord Yahweh Shah did it himself. Did he just say that, just stand there and just, you know, throw, throw the rock at me because I'm God? No, nah, man. He had common sense too, bro. <laughs> All right, because he came in the flesh, man. He didn't just sit there. Because these, these, uh, these fleshly bodies are mortal bodies. That's just what it is. He didn't just sit there and say, you know, you know, I'm God. You know, just hit me with the rock, bro. It ain't going to affect me. No. Nah. He hid himself, man. All right? Be wise, man. Don't let nobody harm you. All right? And went out of the temple. And it says, uh, going uh, through the midst of them and so passed by. So, yeah, man, he had to avoid these wicked uh, scribes and Pharisees, man, because they was all about death and destruction. They had the administration of death on them, man. All right. Which they tried to stone the Lord because what? They uh, were saying, oh, you think you God and all this and all this. Well, he is God, man. All right. He is the word, man. The word was God. The scriptures tell you that, man. He's God, bro. What, what do you think Thomas called him? What did Thomas call him, man? Did Thomas, was a, was Thomas bugging out? All right. Thomas knew who he was. It says, and, and, and all they in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him unto the brow of the hill whereon their city was built that they might throw him down headlong, man. So they was trying to throw the Lord over a damn hill, man. This is how wicked our people is, man. So this shows you, beloved ones, niggas don't give a fuck about you out here, beloved ones. All right? Especially the wicked of our people, bro. We got to stop expecting love from the wicked of our people, man. <clears throat> I'm not trying to be uh, negative or nothing like that, but this is just the honest fact, man. We got to stop expecting a damn snake to love us. Stop expecting the devil to love you, man. All right? The devil don't love you, man. The wicked of our people don't give a fuck about you, man. And we'll, we'll try to, uh, um, you know, harm you, man. It's right in the scriptures, man. All right? They tried to throw... The, the mediator of the New Testament are over a hill, beloved ones. Wake the hell up, man. But he passing through the midst of them went his way. <laughs>